All right, a black crappie. Hi guys and ladies, you know, it's great to be here with you again. Hundreds of you have asked how Miss Cheeks and I are doing. Well, it's been about two years already. So I'm checking in to let you know that, well, we're doing great. And as long as I'm here, I thought it would be fun to fire up the old movie projector and look back at some of the goofiness that went on while making videos. Now, much of this I've never shown to anyone. You see, it was too embarrassing. Oh yeah, I may not be able to answer your comments here, especially if you write like over three words. You see, our last video got 3,500 comments and I love them, but I was so inundated I couldn't reply to them all. So just know in advance that Miss Lulu and I love you. Now for the next hour while you're watching the zaniness, I'm going to keep fishing. And at the end, I'll be back with Miss Lulu. I got one. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. I'm so nervous. Let's get our fish on. Now here in this bowl, containing the small ins... Oh wow, it's almost overflowing here. Holy <laughs> crying out loud. Okay, let's see if I could do this. Uh oh. Oh dear. I have to be honest, it's sticking badly. It's an ungodly mess. This is called omelet. Oh. This is blueberry pie. Would you like to try it right sure, now? Sure. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to add four tablespoons. Oh my God. Four tablespoons of this reduced. Oh, of this re. I've been watching various. You know, if I had it written right, I wouldn't be struggling like this. It's been 22 minutes and 30. 32 seconds. Keep your fingers crossed. I just want to say hi to, uh, uh, who am I saying hi to? I want to say hi to my friend Rick. Rick can cook. Uh, boy, what the is the name of his channel? Now all I'm going to do is add these two eight ounce bags of spinach. Okay, time for the big reveal. I think it's overdone. It's good. It's a good thing we had a backup plan, huh? Yeah, kind of. Those, those burgers will taste good. I'm glad you picked them up on the way. <laughs> well, I stumbled across. I stumbled it all right. I'm going to put our baby in the uh, in the hour for one of us. <laughs> So I bought a little can, uh, boy, I was really good until then. They're just running. <laughs> ah. Ah. I got over three quarters of a pound of fish today and Another three quarters is defrosting. Let's try this again. I think now it's stuck. I'm having a hard time. The only thing I need for this dish are, you guessed it, <laughs> what the? 
It's the test it. Are the fit? Doggone thing. Are the so let's go get them. I think I spit. And what made me decide to do <laughs> uh, in future episodes? Uh, I gotta write this out. I took very. Oh man, I took very. Oh, if my video brings a smile to even one, and I snap my neck, and it, oh, it made my ears ring. It's so loud. Do you ever think of the friends that you wouldn't find? Sure. I can't. You for one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I have a hug? A hug. What's wrong with oh. you? Hmm. Oh, all right, we'll do it again. I had a brainstorm though. I know that's dangerous. Oh, this mosquito. Mm. Now I'm going to have a, a little bite uh, of this. Uh oh, where'd it go? Look, let's do this over again. I lost the piece. A couple of years ago, I made fish cakes. My guest has yet to... Ooh, I was so close. I, I was like, mm. So how about we do a redo? But we don't have much time. Let's hurry. And the mosquitoes are killing me. Please don't put that on film. She went in there. Lost everything. He went into the into the log. Right into the trees. No. I took some out of the freezer, defrosted them, and you see how I don't stick to the script? But rather than have too much food, then oh my god, I wrote the script wrong. Uh, then have too little food, uh, then not enough. I can't forget it. I'm going to, uh, hmm, what am I going to do? What I have here are the seven inch diameter flower, uh, and we have the uh, <clears throat> cilantro, and we have the, why don't I write it down first? I'm really not big on video responses, back and forth challenges, Facebook uh, uh, things. I'm not even a, a fave. I'm going to write this down and that's gonna do it. I got hurt. I'm injured. I went to measure the fish. He jumped out of my hand and back into the water. Oh, no, in the tree. So all you need is a quick flip. In the tree. Hey, what did you think about my blue... What am I serving? Bluegill. In black bean oh. sauce. Oh! I'm in a tree. Oh. oh no. Oh no. The line's wrapped around the camera. We got the water boiling and here's the package of Green beans, some of it went in the pan and uh, the rest went on the stove. Whoa, where's it going? This is not in the recipe. It's not in the dish either. Onion powder. Gee. Uh, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, you did. It's dark peanut butter shape or color. <laughs> shape. I'm going to let this simmer for another, oh, I don't know, well, what do I know? Anything? I caught five bluegill uh, in this cold weather, which goes to show you, uh, uh, I don't know. 
I ought to tell you guys the famous celebrity restaurant. What? That isn't the script. I won't even have to defrost the fr the frish in the frish. I have three quarters of a pound of these fish fillets. Uh, I won't even have to defrost fish in the freezer. Defrost. So, <laughs> I'm from Detroit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, 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 my finger. So I put those fish into this bowl with one pound. Oh, wait a minute. It's one and a half pounds. Yes, yes. All right. I'm going to add some sauce to a casserole dish. Ah! I'm going to put this in a warm oven until our special guest arrives. Eh. Eh. It won't fit. I need to move a rack. I'll mix them up later. Let's fold these into the sauce. Oh no! You might wonder why I put it in this, uh, what is this? Oh no, I broke the foil. Not good. The famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu. Ah! I'm going to turn the oven up to 425. Oh, or is it 450? Remember the green onion? Let's put those on. Every now and then, one actually sticks to the chicken. When conditions get tough, you have to go really small. Then, the bluegill. Oh, no! How about a fourth teaspoon of, uh, cut? I'm in the tree again. Hi guys and ladies, I'm going to make my first cast right here off the dock. Oh no. the barb, so I had to pull it straight out with a, a pliers. Oh no! I'm hung up and the rain is coming. <laughs> the fish got away. I supplemented our catch with some freezer fish like these. Uh, I have a pound and a half. Oh. oh dear. Look what I'm doing. Making a mess. Mm. He'll make a good eater. I love to fool around, don't I? Thank you so much for honoring me here at my mini mouse infected mobile home. Okay, mommy. You know, you said infected instead of infested. Oh. but at least let's give it a try. And so... Ah! Oh, I'm in a tree. 
I didn't see that branch. Oh. All right, let's see if this works. Also from a jar. Ah. Ah. Help. <laughs> but they're edible. No. Oh! And I'm going to add that chipotle cream sauce. Let's see how this works out. Uh oh, it's coming out the back side. I hate when it comes out the back side. Let's just mix it all up. <sighs> Oh, let's see what it looks like. Wow. It, it looks sort of like something I ought not mention. You know, I can't fold the ends in as I had hoped. Oh, this is worse than the first one by far. Oh, I'm going to put this in the oven for 22 minutes. Uh-oh. I got a cast iron skillet in there. Oh no. I think it came out. You know, appetizers, small plates, snacks, whatever you want to call them. Ah! Ah! And big ant this big. That thing was the size of a an SUV. Oh. oh, only two escape. It's been 24 minutes. Let's get that bacon out of there. I let it go too long. Maybe I could Photoshop it to make it look less burned. I was finished with my retrieving. I was, oh, I'm in the trees here. Please excuse the trees. Look at the size of this crap. I didn't want that crappie anyway. Oh no! I got him. Look, he's squirting. Take 17. Well, I've got a... So I'm making fake... Uh, what am I making? Whoa! I got him! <laughs> a lot of people ask me why their line gets all balled up when they're using a spinning rod, and here's the reason. Uh, although we've been seeing each other for over 50 years, though, let's see how much we get. Ooh. or reeling and returning, you might say. I, I can't read because the sun is in my eyes. I don't have, oh, I don't have to fillet the fish. A couple, a couple, would you shut up with that noise? A couple of tiny fillets. The Z-Man lure worked and now I've got seven small bass, which will give us You've seen me do things like this before. Oh, this is great food. You know, the usual. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm in the tree. I'm about 100 feet up. Hidden Valley Ranch, uh, Hidden Ranch Valley, no. Wow, eight and a half. <laughs> I finally got a catfish. I don't know what I'm doing, but this is a nice one. 
Oh no. Oh, it's a little too long. Ha! Ah. <laughs> so let's get back in the house and fillet these guys. Ow, my back! Ah. Oh, I'm in a tree. Ah. <laughs> Ugh, how am I gonna do this? Look, they're rolling. They're, they're getting away. Oh! 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 Whoa! They're supposed to be well drained. You remember how you asked me what I thought of your dream uh, the other night where you gave me a, a diamond necklace? Where I gave you a diamond necklace. <laughs> <laughs> it's been about a minute and a half. Let's see what we have. I can't pick it up. Got eight ounces of chopped onion from the store. Store bought's the way to go. I'm gonna salt. Oh no! You can't always just get the lure out of the tree. Sometimes you have to take part of the tree with you. We're gonna top it off with a sriracha mayo. Oh, that noise is disturbing. Or any fish we happen to catch. So let's go fishing. Or any fish we happen to catch. I don't know what happened. My fritters didn't hold together. They just turned into, I don't know, hash browns or something. Oh. I've got this little grate that, that won't let vegetables or fish fall through. So let's, let's put our asparagus on it. Oh, look at that. Even though I, I oiled the grates. Look at this, rice. Ah! Before we go on with the rice, I just want... Doop. Before we go on with... Doop. Oh, come on, a machine gun now. Just tighten it to where it doesn't fall anymore. And it won't overrun. You won't get backlash. Oh, no. Now my cauliflower is nice and soft. Let's get it in. Somehow. Whoa. You get the idea. No! Help! Fire! Fire in the hole! I didn't expect this. You have to know how to flip or underhand cast. I can't. You need to get this lure up under branches. Would you shut up? Come on. What did I do, you stupid? <laughs> Pretend like you like me. <laughs> this is... <laughs> She seems resistant to marrying me, and the uh, cue card just fell down. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, no, spillage! It's another, another one that fell into the boat. Let me say that again. What did you do wrong? I slurped. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And it's cold and miserable. Let's continue. 
Smile, smile. Oh no. Now I'm in a tree. And you do the very same thing. You cast it out and you get in a tree. Oh. Heavy whipping cream. Let's add the whole pint. <clears throat> it's chunky. This stuff never happens on America's Test Kitchen. I love this stuff. I'm going to put in three tablespoons of this. Uh-oh. I love this stuff. Oh, brother. Cut. Another half teaspoon or less. Here's a whole cup, maybe even more, of shredded... What is it? Sharp cheddar. Look at this. It's a disaster. I can't even get it free from the fryer. Miss Cheeks? Oh, oh, I, I'm sorry. I mean Lulu. Uh, I'm sorry to make this call, but my meal was a disaster. Do you mind picking up a pizza for us? I'm a little short on cash. I spent it on a new fishing rod. Excuse me. You might wonder, I can't barely read it because of the brightness. You might, huh? What? You might wonder how Stromboli could be made. I'm going to add about three quarters of a teaspoon of thyme. Or maybe three tablespoons. I got 18 of these. Uh, what are these? More. Oh no! Oh! Help! I really need this for the recipe. Looper. If you're on a low fat, low fat. If you're on a low fat diet, you're on the wrong channel. Here's about a half cup of white wine. This is about ready. Adam. Can we pretend that all of your students are actually... Oh. It's too sad. <laughs> <laughs> well, they really are. Can we pretend that all of your students are actually our family just for today? Oh, sure. I screwed up. Can we pretend that all of your students are, well, actually our family? <laughs> <laughs> it's smoking too much. I'm getting it out early. Wow. It's a good thing I got it out early. <laughs> ah, I got him. Oh. Almost didn't get him. He's small, but not too small. In this bowl, I'm going to put two eggs, minus the shells. Oh, no! I don't believe I did that. And look what's in there. The shells. I got a little bass the size that we need need to re never mind he's back in the water whoa get right into the boat help ah I got him ho <laughs> ho
You know, a lot of people, especially young people, ask me how I fish for a bluegill. Well, you saw how tiny my lure is? Doesn't take much. So I'm in nine feet of water, and all I do is cast towards shore where it's about two or three feet. And I hit a stump. And look how he's hooked. Huh? Yes! First he's there. No! I got him, I got him! And tomorrow, we're going to make those croquetas. Oh no, I lost one! Oh, I'm so nervous. Let's get our fish on. Ah! Help! But let's see if this thick thickens. Oh no. You'll be fine for this recipe. Shut up up there. There goes the knob. Ah! I stuck myself! I'm fine, I'm fine. It's just here's where I want to hold the fish. How does that look? We've got more than enough for our crispy oven fried fish. No! I got him. Yes, but it's important that those two, those two guys never meet. Let's do it again. Sorry, you screwed up a little too, though. I know. Yeah, you well, said I'm, I'm wonderful instead of important. Yeah. I got it to where I, I want it. Well, that's pretty close. Some of these strands don't have any end. They go on infinitely. So you have to like cut them. Every kitchen needs this. It's 12 inches. I got this thing about right. That's where I want it, 12 inches. I know you think I'm nuts, but you know, I have to fill this to about one and a half to one and three quarters inches. How else? Thank goodness for Stanley. Okay, here's where you break out your Stanley ruler. It has to be Stanley. And you measure about 10 inches in diameter. Nine and a half, 10 inches. Bear with me, you'll see why when I find out why. You have to have the right tools also. I'm gonna cook it in the oil for between five and seven minutes. I'll shoot for six minutes and 17 seconds. And then pop them back in the oven for another 12 minutes and 32 and a half seconds. You put this in the microwave for 11 and a half seconds, maybe 12. Now it's back in the oven for, let's say 12 minutes and 42 seconds. Now I have to make this into a disc, three quarters of an inch thick. I'm a perfectionist. I've got to cut this into six pieces. I was never good in geometry. You want to do this for two hours, no more. Now you want to mix this well, like three and a half hours if you have the time. Two and a half hours of mixing is just right. Now you just keep stirring this for like three hours. You don't have to over stir this. Two hours is plenty. Now I'm going to mix this until the cows come home. I know, I'm obsessive compulsive, but the recipe says I'm to cut these green onions into one and a half inch lengths. This one is in violation. You're supposed to cut this every two inches. I don't see how that's possible. This noodle is in violation of the two inch rule. But I've got to get in. Everything's, the world is in. The sky is falling. Let's get in. Cold out here. I'm getting out of here. I must be nuts. I'm going to have my head examined first thing Monday. There's sleet out here, and I'm still trying to catch fish, getting hung up in the trees. Ah! <sighs> 
This is about the dumbest thing I've ever done. There's ice on my guides. It's snowing out here. Wow, another crappie. I don't believe this day, fishing in the snow. And look at the size on these guys. I'm stuck in an ice field. Wow. And look, look at the ice on my guides. Why do I do this? When you go to Google Images and you look up the word insanity, you'll see a picture of me fishing in the snowstorm. <laughs> this windstorm is crazy. I'm right up against the shore and the trees here. My fingers are numb, it's windy, and it's drizzling. It's just the cold just goes right through you. Only an idiot would be out in this rain fishing. I'm drenched. Look at that. There's ice on these here guides. I can't cast. Let's get in the house. I'm on my third string camera now. Because of the cold, all the batteries died on my cameras. My rod eyes are clogged with ice, but so is the line. The line has ice on it, and it won't uh, wind right on the reel. Let's get back in the house and fillet these guys before my boat fills up with water and sinks. I was at the wrong end of the lake. It's brutally cold out here. I am freezing. Well, at least there's a nice cool breeze. Ice has formed on my line. Look at that. I can barely cast. That's all ice. Nice fish. No, oh, not too little at all. Really, really big. Oh, I love this one. Something hit. Oh, big crop. Ah, wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. A massive bluegill. Oh. Oh, oh my golly. Oh my God. Woo! A beast from Lake Catch a Big One. Look at this guy. Wow! Yeah, stay on, stay on. Whoa, it's big. Oh, wide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, yes, yes. Ha, ah. ooh, heavy, heavy, heavy. This bluegill doesn't look like much, but it's big. Ooh, <laughs> I love my bluegill. Wow. Ah, that's a bluegill monster. Oh my goodness, another monster. Oh, 
I have to take it in. I have to mount it or something. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. What a monster. Look at that guy. 19 and three quarters inches. Ah. <laughs> I thought I was never going to catch one. Look. Ha ha ha. Ah, look at the size on this guy. He's a jumbo. Got him. I got a good one. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness! Look at this! Oh, state of Ohio record. 20 pound bass. Come on. Come on. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> wow! Look at this thing. Oh, it's huge! Oh, what a hit! Wow! What is this thing? I think it's that catfish again. Ah, uh, help! Look at this thing! How am I gonna bring him in? I need a net. All right, let me try the lure. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, an enormous perch again! This is a jumbo perch in any lake. Oh, no, I don't believe it. Uh, uh, I, I gotta be dreaming. Look at the size, look at the size of this perch. Looks to be over 12 inches. If it's shallow, you reel a little more until you feel. Right at the boat. Oh, it's huge. Look at this fish. Mommy! Oh, look at this. Oh, my arm hurts. This is over 22 inches. I've been out here fishing for over an hour, but the water is just too muddy until now. Oh, my goodness. You're not going to believe this. Unbelievable. A crappie the size of Montana. Whoa, oh, my goodness. I never caught a crappie this big. Can you see it? Got him. Got him. Oh, look at this bluegill. Not only is it huge, look at the color. Yes. Oh. 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 Look. Ah. A record. Another record crappie. These are not fake fish. <laughs> They're real. I don't believe it. Are you kidding? It says 15 and a half. That's another new record for me. Oh, a black crappie. I don't believe it. how big these things are. 15 and one quarter inches. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Look, fat. Oh, my. Gosh, and chubby. Got one. Right under the boat. Right under the boat. Come on, honey. Come here. I got you. I got you. Oh, look at this beast. Goodness. Oh, this thing was wrapped around a wrapped around a log. Yeah. There you go. My eyes see this, but I don't believe it. I don't think I've caught a bluegill this big, maybe in 15 years. Look at the size of this guy. Oh, oh <laughs> look at the size. This thing is like nine and a half inches. Wow. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> and 
sometimes you catch big crappie when you're going for bluegill. <laughs> oh. Whoa, help! Oh. Ah. Gosh, it's so big. I thought it was a catfish. Massive, a massive bluegill. This could be the biggest of the year. I just lost that bluegill trying to measure it. It fell into the water. That's a big one. Oh, it's a horse. He's gonna get off, I'm sure. Please don't come off. Look at this. I can't believe it. I have to step back here so you can see it. I knew all along as I stated that I would get that fish in the boat. Notice this, it's pick upable. This is highly pick upable, but it's really pungent and cilantro-y. Tart? Limey, cilantro y. My thinking is to just baconize it. There it is, all paprika up. Uh oh, clap that off. They've been all lemon peppered up, and I'm taking them out. Don't be daunted. No daunting zone. No Mexican would confuse this with real chilies rellenos. This is like gringo eyes. Gringo eyes. Well, let's start with this little John boat. I guess in Spanish it would be a Juan boat or even a Juanello boat. Oh, that's really good. Citrusy, cucumbery. I suppose you could use any seafood seasoning like uh, Tony Cacciatore's. So now I have a pound and a half of fish to work with and I'm eager to get started to Greekify them. There's a little bit of clumpage from the flour, but now I'm going to Cajunize it a little bit more. It's so creamy and pecorino-y. Use your favorite, stevia, erythritol, Aretha Franklin, whatever. Let's platter it up and keep it warm in the oven. Oh. No stickage. Look at this plate of scrumptiosity. And let it get fragrant, fragrantize it. I've had our garlic going now for over a minute and it's all fragrantized. And I have low. We have to de lumpify it. Let's de lumpify it. This needed some de lumpification too. If you like playing in the mud as a kid, you'll love this recipe because it's a gloopy, gloppy mess. When someone hands you lemons, you juicify them. I think that's the lemon law. I'm going to throw them over here and let them heat up to juicify them. I have a half lime here and I'm going to juicify it. Black beans, not so much, but soybeans, you really have to creamify them. One half of a lime. Further to limeify it. Look, I got broccoli florets. I'm so lazy, I buy them already floretted. Look, they're already floretted. I was a naysayer. Yay, I'm a yay-sayer. Here's about one pound of asparagus. Asparagi, plural. I've laid our asparagus out on this baking sheet. Asparaguses, asparagi. So thank you so much for joining me tonight here at my uh, pretty pitiful prefab. Now I'm just going to defoil these. This is my fry daddy. I call it my fry baby daddy. Look, I've got our casserole dishes all cheesed up. They call this a spoonula. It's a half spatula and half spoon. I guess you could call it a spatuloon. What's the plural for asparagus? Asparagi, right? years have we known each other? Ooh, I think it's coming up on 50. Is there any chance at all that 
well, you'll introduce me to your parents? <laughs> Would you remember to tell Miss Cheeks that uh, Juanello is a real looker? Okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't you think that marriage is a wonderful institution? Yeah, but who wants to live in an institution? Mm -hmm. And when my time comes, do you know who'll take over my apartments along the lakefront? Who will take my riverfront office buildings? Or who will take my condos in the heights? Mm, there you go again, bragging about your paper route. Uh, mm. I think that uh, marriage is a union, you know, a, a union of heart, a union of soul, a union of minds, don't you think? Mm, yeah, but wait till you have to pay those union dues. Oh. Remember the delicious fish with ginger sauce? Yes, but you used cinnamon instead of ginger by mistake, remember? Oh, yeah. True. Well, well, remember my tuna casserole? Mm, yeah, with hot fudge. Yeah, bad call. Huh? <laughs> uh, don't you think like we're meant to be together, like earth and water? Together, they make mud. Oh, you know, marriage is a joyous arrangement. It's like a walk in the park. Yeah, Jurassic Park. Oh. I was thinking about marriage today, and you know, it's sort of like a deck of cards. You, you have two hearts and a diamond. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but in the end, you wish you had a club and a spade. Huh? Uh, oh. I had this visit to my mother's house planned for a long time. I don't think she cares for me very much. I, I can tell by the gift she got me for Christmas. Everyone can use a cemetery plot. I got you a little gift that I think you could really use. Oh, for me? Yes. What is it? Oh, it's, it's a gift certificate yes. for cooking classes? I was thinking, marriage consists of two rings, you know? An engagement ring mm -hmm. and a wedding ring. Uh, you forgot one. I did? Uh, what's that? Suffering. Oh. oh. You know, you've seen the good-looking couple that moved in next door. Well, did you see that uh, she kisses him every time they meet? Huh. I was kind of wondering why, you know, you don't do that. Well, I would love to, but I really don't know him well enough yet. Oh, I need to be frank. Do you think I'm a jerk? I don't think you're a jerk. But then what's my opinion against thousands of others? Huh? I often think everyone just hates me. Oh, that's ridiculous. Everyone hasn't met you yet. Oh, um, Miss uh, Ruby, uh, do I remind you of your grandpa? No. Why not? Because my grandpa is good looking. One day I'll marry and a lot of women will be sad that day. Wow, how many women do you plan to marry? Huh? How would you describe me? Um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. What? What does that mean? Um, adorable, beautiful, cute, delightful, elegant, fashionable, gorgeous, and hot. <laughs> Wait, but what about I, J, K? I'm just kidding. I was thinking today, I have enough money to last me the rest of my life. Mm, yes, uh, unless you buy something. Huh? Here's one you never heard. An invisible man marries an invisible woman, and you know what? Their kids were nothing to look at either. Their kids were nothing. Do you have a date for Valentine's Day? Uh, yes, I do. It's February 14th. Our viewers have been asking me when I was going to retire from YouTube, and I said, well, when they no longer smile at my videos. Hmm, that never stopped you before. Oh. <clears throat> I love you. <laughs> is, that, is that you or the wine talking? It, it's me talking to the wine. Oh. 
I don't think you appreciate the great value and benefit of my uh, fishing skills. Uh, you know, if you give a man a fish, you, you feed him for only one day. But what do you get if you teach a man to fish? Uh, you get rid of him for the whole weekend. Huh? Oh. Ruby, do you know that if you give a man a fish, you feed him for only one day. But if you teach a man to fish, guess what? Uh, he'll buy a stupid hat with his name on it. Knock, knock. Who's there? The love of your life. That's silly. My cat can't talk. Huh? You know, Miss Cheeks, it's really not healthy to eat all that cotton candy. You know, my grandfather lived to be 98 years old. Wow, did he eat a lot of cotton candy? No, but he minded his own business. Did you know that the seasons are caused by the uh, tilt of the earth as it uh, goes around the sun? Mm, I'm not as dumb as you look. Huh? I realize that 50% of marriages end in divorce. But look at the bright side. There's the other 50%, right? Yes, they end in death. Huh? <laughs> oh. Can I, can I have a hug? <laughs> I have to be frank with you. I'm tired of my bachelor life, and it's time you knew it. I'm turning things around. I'm revolting. Oh, no. Not all the time. Huh? Hey, don't forget to tell uh, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell her Mr. Juanello is a real charmer. All right, I will. Uh, uh. What's the first thing to come to your mind when you hear those two words, I do? Uh, you're done. Huh? Oh. Don't you love wedding movies? Well, actually, I like watching them in reverse. Reverse? Uh, why reverse? Um, I like seeing the bride leave the church a free woman. Oh. It seems that my attempts at starting a relationship haven't been going so well. So, sadly, I'm going to have to start dating other women. Oh, that's too bad. Who was the woman you've been dating up till now? Huh? Hmm. You know, that rod you have is terrible. Why doesn't your grandpa buy you a new one? Because he's too cheap. <clears throat> I'd like to get married. Oh, I hope you meet someone nice. Huh? <laughs> you know it's lonely in this rickety ranch house. I sleep alone here every night. Oh, you, so you finally got an exterminator. Huh? I don't have much in the way of money. But, you know, I'm honest and I'm real about it. Yeah, even your reality check bounced. Huh? Oh. I know this is kind of morbid, <laughs> but... I need to let you know my wishes, and I'd like to be cremated. Okay, how about Tuesday? Huh? Well, I'm not extremely rich like Frank, but... Well, let's face it, I think I'd make a, a good devoted husband. Oh, dear, how sweet. Uh, what was that you said about Frank? Huh? Oh. I know plenty of women who always know exactly where their husbands are every night. Oh, so they're widows. Huh? <laughs> Miss Lulu, what if I told you that from here on out, I'm going to make you the happiest woman in the world? Oh dear, I'm going to miss you. Uh -huh. Well, here we are almost two years later with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. You know, Miss Cheeks, oh, that's right. We're married now. I can call you Lulu. I just subjected our viewers to an hour of old films featuring our nuttiness over the years, but everyone has been asking about you. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. Oh. Keeping busy. 
Really? Yes. Are you still teaching at the Culinary Arts Institute? A little bit here and there, you Good know. But, but I've been enjoying it, yes. And how are your students? They're doing very well. They're learning and they know how, they're learning all the basics of cooking. And it, was, it was nice of them to all consent to our adopting them. Oh, yes, yes. It's been a very good decision. Hey, you know, uh, my friend Mike, well, his wife Yolanda got a new fishing rod and reel for him. Wow, I bet that was the best trade she ever made. Huh? <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, you know what else? Our wedding anniversary is coming soon, Lulu. And how do you suggest we celebrate it? Uh, how about with a minute of silence? Mm. I see things haven't changed much with us. <laughs> Miss Cheeks. Oh, I, I mean Lulu. You know, you hit me with some real zingers in those old shows, as our friends just witnessed. And I wish you could make it up to me. Oh, let's see. How about a hug? Hmm, that works. Say a final goodbye to our friends, Miss Lulu. A final goodbye to our friends, Miss Lulu. Mm -hmm.